What is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're going to be talking about Power of Evil and an update on his future. What all is going on? This was a little over a week ago, I guess, at this point, but it's kind of flown under the radar when we've had so many big stories, so many big things going on. Uh, but he tweeted out this. He said, uh, 2023 has some big changes in store for me and then he left us a little twit longer uh, again like i said this you know has less than 2,000 likes it didn't get a ton of traction uh, so i don't even know if necessarily you guys have all seen it so i wanted to uh you know cover it for you guys uh and here's his twit longer he says hey everyone 2023 have some big changes in store for me for the people that would like to have more insight on the background reasons and my thoughts i've put together this twit longer uh for the first time since 2014 i won't be playing competitively in the next split as I did not receive an offer from a team for the upcoming spring split. My expectations regarding roster staff and goals did not align with the organizations interested in me. So that's actually kind of interesting. You know, he didn't end up with any offers. He's not going to be playing, but it doesn't sound like there weren't any teams interested. It just, uh, you know, if power of evil was just like, Hey, I'll play any team, any roster, any coaching staff, whatever. Would he have gotten offers? I'm not sure, but this makes it sound like, you know, he was like, hey, I want to at least have some level of quality to my coaching staff and roster and, and have some kind of expectations. Uh, and maybe every team, especially the teams that are interested in him, you know, probably not the top, top, top teams, but the middle and bottom tier teams, uh, maybe they weren't exactly down to meet things that Power Review was saying. Now, hey, that doesn't mean that even if they did uh, or were capable of meeting those, the power of evil would have been their first choice. Just because you're interested in a player doesn't mean you're necessarily going to offer them or try to sign them or whatever. So it is kind of interesting. Were there some teams that actually wanted power of evil but couldn't have got him? Uh, did power of evil, you know, potentially uh, push away some offers he could have had? Or did he just go offer those throughout the offseason? It's hard to tell for sure, but... At the end of the day, he has no offers. Uh, he says, obviously, they were too high for the deciders this time. Uh, this means I am going to Germany to focus on streaming and content creation for now. Now, I do wonder, is this going to be in English or, or German or whatever is going to be going on? I don't know. Uh, he says, I've been speaking with Hand of Blood, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, so hopefully we'll be able to bring you some fun content in the near future. I always thought about uh, going the streamer content creator route after my active pro career. Lots of ex-pros become streamers, uh, but with various degrees of success, I'm eager to work hard to forge my own spot on the platforms. The real question will be, if it's going to be fun enough for me to stop being hungry to win an LCS slash LEC split, or if I will make a return in the summer split or maybe even next year. I think performance wise, I'm still a top tier mid laner who can compete with everyone. In case I receive an offer for 2023 or 2024, I will weigh all options seriously and decide accordingly. My last season was difficult for a number of reasons, which I do not want to discuss publicly. So, you know, we don't really know what's going on there. Um, but all of it made the last season very exhausting. Now is the best time to reload my batteries. And hey, sometimes that works out. Sometimes people take a little break, come back stronger, better than ever. But to come back bigger, stronger, better, whatever, a team has to give you an opportunity. And I don't know, is an LCS or an LEC team going to give uh, a power of evil an opportunity, um, especially if he has certain demands after he's taken a split off or maybe even a full year off? I don't know. It's very, very possible this could be the last we've seen a power of evil, which is a shame to some extent. After playing already four years around in the U.S., I'm happy to have the possibility to spend more time with my family and friends again, which I think it will be cool for him. Very, very exciting. Uh, thanks to everyone who supported me in good times as well as in the challenging. I, a special thank you to my fans in the U.S. I always felt welcome here. To all my fans in Germany, I'm coming home. To be continued, Tristan, Power of, Eng Power of Evil, Scrag, if that's how you say it. But, uh, yeah, kind of some interesting stuff here uh, for all the Power of Evil fans. Uh, obviously, I think Power of Evil super nice, super cool guy. It does seem like he always has seemed very, very genuine, which... I think could potentially, uh, you know, lend him well in the content creation scene. I, I, I wish him the best. I hope he does well. I know he definitely got some very, very high paying contracts uh, during his time in the LCS. So I hope he will be okay financially. Um, but yeah, like I said, it is very, very possible. This could be the last we see of Power People in the LEC or LCS. Um, but it does seem like he is open, at least potentially the possibility of returning uh, sometime during this year or maybe even next year. But like I said, he's got to find a suitor. It takes two to tango. And I don't know exactly if that's going to happen. We'll have to wait and see. But pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully I catch you in the next one. Peace.